something's fishy, folks, but it's the good kind of fishy. Uh, manta rays kick ass, and Ballast Point Brewing Company kicks ass. And this is their Manta Ray Double IPA. IPAs kick ass, and double IPAs kick double ass. So this should be a very good beer all around. By the way, thank you, Matthew A. Matt A. for the um, beer suggestion. It took me a while to track this guy down. Um, nobody in Maine, in my area anyway, carried it. I know you live in Maine too, so it's probably just uh, not in the central Maine area. But I had to take a trip down to New Hampshire to actually get a hold of one of these. Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of info on it, just that it's a double IPA. From Ballast Point. Ballast Point puts out some really good beers. Some of their collaborations are awesome. And I love the nautical theme to most of their brews. But manta Ray. And they got an image of a jumping Manta Ray on the label. Manta Ray Double IPA. Did they name it so because it rhymes? Or was there another reason? I don't know because they didn't explain it on the label. Very plain. But that's okay. I don't need a backstory. I just need a good beer. And that is a slightly cloudy, very effervescent, pale, golden yellow beer. Hmm. There's a very floral hop aroma coming off of that. Mmm. It's like floral and soapy and fresh. I, I, soapy isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's not my hands. Although, yes, they are clean and soapy. But what I'm getting is a very a soap reminiscent floral hop aroma. Very, very interesting. I, I'm sorry, I keep sniffing it because I don't get floral hops very often. And I, when I do, it's not always as pleasant as this. It's just this really fresh, floral, spring, makes me think of springtime. It's very clean and crisp. It smells awesome. Anyway, enough about that. How does it taste? That's interesting. I'm getting floral in the aroma, but right up front, a big mouthful of pine notes. It's got a nice medium light mouthfeel, but I'm very piney. I, I got floral in the aroma and pine in the taste. Um, I like a beer that changes character like that. It's unexpected, catches me by surprise, and it and because of that, it impresses me. Very smooth and easy to drink. Heavily pine, hints of citrus in the finish, but mostly a lot of hoppy bitterness. And like I said, it's got that nice medium light mouthfeel that gives it some body. Um, not a lot of other character coming through. Just the hoppiness. I, I like the fact that in the aroma it gives me one impression, but in the taste it gives me a, a, another. It, it changes in that manner. Um, so it's a little bit unexpected. Other than that, though, it's, it's not giving me a whole lot to work with here. It's a very nice, heavily hopped double IPA. Smooth and easy to drink. Which is why I, I got to put this at a 4 out of 5. I would go with a 3.5 based on taste alone. But the fact that I was getting that really pleasant floral aroma off of the hops in, in, in the beginning. And then I get a very different taste uh, profile with the piney notes. Um, that's giving it some extra points. So a 4 out of 5 instead of a 3.5. Just based on the fact that it, it throws you for a loop there. 
Um, otherwise, based on taste alone, I would give it a three and a half. Like I said, I think I mentioned that at least once before. Um, because it's a really solid above average IPA. But the fact that I got one impression from the aroma and then the, the taste was different from what I was expecting surprised me and impressed me enough to push it up to a four. But that's just what I think. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Hit me up down in the comments and the email link down below. Let me know what you think about this beer while you're down there. Ooh, pardon. <laughs> more effervescent here than it is here um well like i said while you're down there make sure to hit me up with a like and a share make sure to subscribe so that you get a notification every time i post a new video hopefully you're enjoying them Ooh, those belches are going to lead into hiccups i think until next time folks thanks for tuning in cheers Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American Crew.